January 2023, we officially formed the Climate Choir Movement. We now have 12 climate choirs, and I think there's another three about to join us. The whole point of this choir is to represent, if you like, ordinary men, women and children around the UK who care passionately about the environment. This action is the biggest, the boldest one that we've done. What we're doing is bringing our message to those in power in the House of Parliament. We're doing it in a beautiful, non-disruptive way. We're not going to be near the House of Lords Chamber or the House of Commons Chamber, so we're not disrupting business. It'll be a beautiful message, beautifully delivered. It's just how I imagined it, actually. That's why I chose the Hallelujah Chorus, because it's just bang, and that sound can really echo out. As and with as much fuss, as It was astonishing. It was far better than I thought it was going to be. First of all, the sound was brilliant. Why Rosebank? It's the biggest license for North Sea oil. It's huge. It's crazy because the taxpayers were subsidising. We're giving Equinor, it's a Norwegian company, and they can offset their capital costs of drilling in the North Sea by, I think it's 90%. The profits from it then go offshore. The oil goes to Europe to be refined and then is brought back and we have to buy it at international prices. So it doesn't lower our oil price, gas price, and it doesn't give us resilience. This is across the board message to all politicians saying start looking after your general population and start funding green energy, which is cheaper energy and safer energy. The best bit was seeing the choir coming down those big stairs in Westminster Hall, and the kind of array of people coming down, there's more and more and more people and sort of conducting them that way. It just looked amazing, it sounded amazing in Westminster Hall. I do hope some MPs heard it. Singing is what I do, I run choirs and, and I have also been a climate activist for a lot of my life, playing instruments quite often in the streets with other people. It can really grab people's attention, it can really move them and it's really important for us to move people in a climate catastrophe. I led the choir today, the London choir. Um, we were the decoy. We were the decoy group, the B group. It went, it went really well. I mean, there were so many people here today. I think it exceeded all our expectations of how many people would turn up. where we were supposed to end up uh, and met the others, the, the A choir coming out of, out of the parliament. We all gathered together and there was a huge, great, huge, great crowd of singers. Doing. The ice is melting, what are we doing about it? Doing. The ice is melting, what are we doing about it? Doing. The ice is melting, what are we doing about it? Doing. The ice is melting, what are we doing about it? Doing. The ice is melting, what are we doing about it? Doing. The
shouting, what are we doing about it? Singing is, is some, something which I've always thoroughly enjoyed. And uh, I've seen the extent to which people of 11 and upwards have enjoyed singing as well. And so here am I, 86 years old, and, um, uh, and still, and still in, able to keep a tune, which is lucky, and good fun.